What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your data labels in a bar chart or a line chart uh, to show as percentage instead of the value from the Y axis. So for example, in this visual, in my personal accessories category, you see it has a value of over 1.4 billion, but it's showing as a data label the percentage, so 39.6%. That's the percentage uh, that it, um, that it is for the entire category. So this also works in a line chart. So as my data goes through the quarters, you can see the percentage that each quarter attributed uh, to the maximum or the total revenue shown in this visual. So this is a pretty cool trick that involves some uh, different formatting options, but it's very easy to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into that. But before I do, I wanted to let you know that I've written up this exact tutorial in blog form. So in case you prefer reading about Power BI tips, make sure you check out the BI Elite blog. The link is down in the description. So uh, for my demo, I'm gonna start by setting up that bar chart. So what you actually need to do, instead of putting a, a default bar chart, you need to use one of the line and clustered column charts. So go ahead and add that to the page. And I'm going to take my revenue field, throw it in columns, and my axis can be anything. I'm gonna use product line. So by default, you see um, it's just showing a normal graph here with uh, my uh, y-axis ranging up to 1.5 billion. If I turn on data labels right now, you can see what happens. It's just, just going to show the actual value. So that's not what we want. So instead of that, we're going to take a revenue field one more time and throw it in the line values. So now it's gonna be the exact same thing in line form. But now we should click the down arrow and click show value as percent of grand total. And that's going to uh, change the data label for the line chart to be the percentage of the total. And now we just need to get a little bit clever. We can turn off our uh, line by making the stroke width zero. So now our line is gone. And our data labels, we can scroll down to customize series. So we have revenue and percent grand total revenue. Revenue is our bar chart, so we can turn off the data labels. So you see now it's only showing the percentage data labels. And then we will hop on over to the percent grand total revenue and we can change the positioning to be under, so it kind of fits inside the bar. And you'll see it doesn't line up perfectly, and we actually need to go ahead and go to our y-axis. And a very important step here is that you scroll down until you see align zeros. We need to turn that on, and that's gonna make them sit nicely on top of each other. It's gonna make the scale very similar between the two scales on the left and right. So make sure you click on align zeros. And then the final thing, we don't really need our percentage anymore. We still need to show it. So you can't unclick uh, show secondary or that's gonna change the scale too much. So instead we need to change our secondary color to white. And there we go, that goes away. And then finally, let's go ahead and, and take the legend out. So now that's our perfectly formatted bar chart with a percentage data label. Um, finally, this does work on drill down as well. So in case I were to use maybe some other field in a hierarchy here, you can drill down and it's gonna show you your percentage for that parent category with those nice percentage data labels. Uh, finally, I'm gonna th uh, show one more demo for the line chart. It's a little bit different. So uh, the methodology is different enough to warrant a demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the same things here. Product line, revenue in the lines. So, oh, instead of product line, I'm actually gonna use this year quarter axis and order it properly. So I'll sort by year quarter, sort ascending. There we go. So this is uh, based on the quarter um, and my total revenue. So if I were to show the data labels now, you'd see the default values for each quarter. So I'm gonna take that same revenue field, put in the column values now and choose show value as percent of grand total. Okay, and we'll hop on back over to the formatting. First thing, let's go ahead and align our zeros because that is very, very important. So align zeros, and now the line is gonna sit on top of the bar. Uh, let's go ahead and um, make our data labels, turn them off for the revenue field. So we'll customize series again, go to revenue and turn them off. So now we're just showing our percentages. Our, um, so let's go ahead and leave it like that. Um, next, we kind of need to go back to the Y axis. So you'll see by default, our uh, line chart is going to show on the right axis, but we wanna show that on the left axis. 
So for y-axis, we just need to change position from left to right because now it's talking about percent. We'll show the percentage on the right. And then we can simply just make that color white to not show up. So now we're only showing our left axis. And then even further, we can turn our title off since we don't want to see that either. So now that looks pretty good. Now we need to get rid of this bar and it's not as easy as turning like a stroke width to zero. What you actually have to do is you have to go to data colors and you need to change this default color. You can turn it to white, but that doesn't work perfectly because now you're kind of seeing some areas where there aren't any uh, grid lines. So it looks kind of weird there. So actually let's turn that back to like an orange so it shows. And now we just need to create one new measure. I'm gonna call this transparent color and just set this equal to um, this hex code. You've probably seen me do this in plenty of my videos. Uh, you can use any uh, six uh, letters or numbers for a hex code, but then uh, add on zero, zero at the end. So you end up with, for example, uh, pound FFF, FFF, zero, zero. So that's just gonna be a transparent white. So now when we hover over default color, we use conditional formatting and format by field value and my new measure called transparent color. Click OK. And now that bar is transparent. So now we have our uh, line chart with our um, percentage data labels as opposed to the value that's in the y-axis. We also have that in the bar chart as well. So these work uh, perfectly with drill down and cross filtering capabilities. Um, it just really works really nicely. So in case you have uh, something where you need to show basically a percentage inside the data labels instead of the y-axis value, make sure you uh, try this methodology. It's pretty cool, pretty easy to set up. So if you liked the video, make sure you check out the blog, make sure you subscribe there and subscribe here on YouTube, and I will see you in the next video.